Welcome back to Louisiana. I am Samuel and I recently received my Microtech Ultratech knife in the mail. I have been wanting one of these knives for actually about three years now ever since I found out about them and I finally got the opportunity to get one and it just arrived and I'm super excited about opening it and reviewing it. But before we do that, you know what's better than one knife? Two knives. This is my Benchmade Emissary. I've had it for about two years now. We're gonna be comparing these two and I am super excited. All right, so first opening up this Microtech Ultratech knife, which I'm super excited about. Before we do that, we're just going to quickly crack open my Benchmade Emissary. Like I said, I've had this knife for about two years now. I absolutely love this knife. It's one of my go-to knives. Um, as you can see here, it is spring assisted and it comes very well packaged in a microfiber cloth in a very classy box here. But this knife has the access lock. This is a safety mechanism. It actually works fairly well. And then you have a thumb stud to open the blade. And then this right here is your release mechanism. You pull it back and then you bend the blade down. This is a very generic method of opening and closing pocket knives. This is the Microtech Ultratech. I have only seen pictures of it. And wow, that box slides off very smoothly. Uh, just based on the box alone, I like opening this box better than the Benchmade box. If you notice, this box has a little angle cut out in the side of the top, whereas on the Benchmade, it does not. So you're gonna have to shake the Benchmade box to open it up. On this one, you just grab it and smoothly pick it up. It comes with the instruction manual and the owner's manual. Um, we can see there's some pretty nice photos of the knife there. I mine does not have a serrated blade, I do not think. Warranty, knife care, and oh, there's the pictures of the Microtech Ultratech knife. And like I said, this is an out the front knife, which means the blade, instead of swinging out like this, like a normal knife, will launch out of the front. Wow, look at this, the presentation is amazing. Caution, sharp edge, it even has the name of the person who inspected this knife. That is definitely a quality increase over Benchmade. Oh wow. Oh, my first time holding a Microtech Ultratech. This knife is amazing. Wow, I'm so glad to finally have my hands on one of these. Check out how beautiful this knife is. So my scale color is, it says on the box here, Merlot. I don't know if you guys can read that, but that is the Merlot scale color. These are aluminum scales exactly like the Benchmade aluminum. And wow, look at the quality on these. They have ridges on the back to help you hold it. It's a very nice weight and it fits nice in your hand. Um, if you notice on this clip here, it is a huge clip. It's really wide, but it surprisingly does not get in the way when you hold it. That is nice. All right, I am so excited. I'm about to open this knife for the first time. I think we just push this thumb, thumb stud straight out. As far as I'm aware, there's no safety on the knife. Oh! Wow, okay, so to push the blade out, you just push this thumb stud, blade comes out of the front, and to retract it, you just pull it straight back, and the blade goes back. It's super fast and quick. Man, this is gonna be an interesting video. I am so excited about this. All right, so first off, let's talk about the handle. This is the first thing you're met with right when you pick up the knife. We're gonna be comparing this to the Benchmade Emissary. So I'm very familiar with the Emissary handle. I have held this knife. Uh, pretty much every day for two years and honestly the handle is a little bit small some people don't like that I think it's very nice it fits in your hand nicely it's not overbuilt uh, and your thumb and your middle finger are directly in the right spot to open the blade with whichever finger you prefer if it with the thumb or again with the middle finger there are these nice grooves so it kind of just direct your finger straight towards the thumb studs and the handle on this knife is very nice now, it does get a little thin, and some of these ridges here are not the easiest thing to grab because they don't line up with my fingers. Maybe for some people they do, but for me they don't. On my Microtech Ultratech, right after holding this, it is the perfect length. It fits perfectly in your hand and in your palm. Nothing is in the way of your fingers. Even this massive clip does not get in the way of anything, and everything is just right where it should be. There are these little grooves and ridges right here where your finger is, and this thing is not going anywhere. If you notice it's slightly flared at the ends here so your hand is not going to be sliding off of the knife and your thumb is directly on the thumb stud ready to push the blade out and retract it back. 
On the Benjamin Emissary, it does have this uh, clip, pocket clip, for clipping the knife to your pocket. If you notice, it's actually somewhat small, and it does have bolts directly on the inside of it. Sometimes when you're clipping this knife into your pocket, these little bolts can get caught on some fabric, and they kind of hang up when you're trying to pull it back out. And the, the clip is also somewhat thin, and it does not have the most resistance. Some people like the light resistance of being able to slide the knife into your pocket very easily, but that does come at a trade-off that the knife is very easy to fall out too. It's not a loose spring on the clip, it is just not as strong as some. On the Microtech Ultratech, you can immediately see this is a very huge clip. It's much longer and wider than the clip on the Benchmade Emissary. You have to commit to pushing this knife to your pocket and make sure it grabs. But the amazing thing about this clip is that there are no bolts on the inside of it to catch on any clothing. Instead, there's just one massive screw on the end that holds this clip in place. This screw has a casing around it that doubles as a window breaker. If you need to break a window, you have a nice beefy point of steel that is ready to smash through the glass and break the window. This can be very helpful in rescue situations or if you are stuck in a vehicle or any situation that requires breaking glass. One nice thing about the Microtech Ultratech is it does come with a lanyard hole. For some people that is important if they wear their knives around them. Uh, and the Benchmade Emissary does not. I've actually heard quite a few complaints about this knife not coming with a very easy to use uh, lanyard hole. It has a small one here, but it, it causes the knife to hang at an awkward angle. On the Microtech Ultratech, it would make the knife hang flat against you, which is what a lot of people like. So immediately we can see there are some advantages on the handle and the clip of the Microtech Ultratech than there are over the Benchmade Emissary. Now let's get on to the actual mechanism of the knife. The Benchmade Emissary works like almost every other spring assisted knife. You flip out the blade with a thumb stud and the blade locks. And when you want to retract it, you have to pull back this lock mechanism and then either use one finger and flip the blade back, which is a little awkward, or use your other hand and flip the blade back. This does take some time and using both hands can be a slight disconvenience for some people. If you're working with one hand and you need to cut something, you pull out your knife, you cut it, and then you have to use your other hand or awkwardly bend it back with one finger. Sometimes on the Benchmade Emissary, when you're bending the blade back with one finger, if you have a finger over there, you can snip off a little bit of skin or fingernail. That's not exactly a pleasant sensation. This problem is completely eliminated without the front knives like the Microtech Ultratech. You push the blade out, and once you're ready to retract it, you simply pull it back with the same motion and the blade retracts into the knife one-handed and it's very easy to use. Now on the actual opening of the blade, on the Benchmade Emissary, there's just these small studs that your fingers can hit. Um, this makes it very easy to use and there's not much force required to open it. The spring is actually very easy to overcome and there's no damage done to your fingers. On the Microtech Ultratech, there is a very gnarled up piece of steel here that requires a lot of force to open the blade. Once you open this blade a couple times, you're going to end up with a callus on your finger just from doing so. After you get used to it, it's very easy to do. But the first time, right when you pick up the knife, you can't just spam opening the knife because you're going to end up with a little blood dripping out of your finger just from some of these grooves. Now, this out the front knife does not have a safety mechanism. On the Benchmade Emissary and on most um, uh, spring assisted knives, there's a safety. This is pretty much a lock and on here it's right there. It means you cannot open the blade no matter what you try to do until this safety is disabled. So if you put the knife in your pocket and you have your safety on, there's no chance it will go off. It is kind of nice, but it is very inconvenient sometimes because the safety switch is very small. So if you pull your knife out and you have safety on and you need to flip the blade out quickly, you have to first find this small switch, undo it, and then you're ready to flip the blade out. On the Microtech Ultratech, that problem is also eliminated. There is no safety mechanism. Now before people start saying, what if the knife goes off in your pocket and stabs you? That is actually not a problem on this knife. If you notice, you have to push this uh, thumb stud a long ways before it actually activates the mechanism and there's a very strong spring to overcome when you're getting to there. And even once you get to that point of activating the mechanism, the spring force gets even stronger and you have to really run into it to push that blade out. Now the question, what if this blade does happen to somehow activate the mechanism? Will this knife go off in my pocket and stab me in the leg? 
That problem has also been eliminated. The mechanism for pushing the blade out has a built-in safety feature that will automatically derail the blade if it encounters any resistance at all. For example, we will take this one piece of paper and if I open this knife directly into it, it will derail the blade. If you notice, this blade has been derailed, which means it will just slide back into the knife. So this is not going to stab into you. If your blade does fire and derail, to pull it back into the knife, you have to manually pull it all the way out until it locks and then you can retract it back into the knife. That is the safety mechanism on the Microtech Ultratech. It is very effective and I do feel very safe knowing that this knife is extremely hard to fire without my input and if it does happen to do so for some reason, this blade is not going to be going anywhere without me wanting it to. Next, let's move on to the usability of the knives. As we have talked about, this knife is very easy to fire and it does require a little extra effort to push the blade back in. That has been completely bypassed on the Microtech Ultratech. As soon as you get the blade out, you're ready to use it and then pull the blade directly back in. Now, sometimes you might be in a situation where there are other people around you when you are using a knife. If you're opening letters and there are some people around you watching you do so, Normally, if you pull out a knife like this, they're not very shocked to see the blade, you know, spinning around. It's a very common movement, but that is the common mechanism on all knives. The blade just rotates out and then rotates back in. It is a little bit of a shock for some people to see a knife opening this quickly. That is a very fast opening mechanism, and the noise it makes can startle some people. However, with the Microtech Ultratech, it is very shocking to see a blade launch out the front of the knife. See, that is very startling, and some people, in some circumstances, you might not wish to have a knife that is this obvious of a weapon, and uh, you just need to be aware of the circumstances that you're opening the knife under. You know, some people you might be around, you might not want to pull this knife out and open your letters, you might need to opt for a knife that's more uh, normal to some people's eyes than a out-the-front knife. Let's move on to blade material. On the Benchmade Emissary, the blade is made out of S30V steel, this is a very popular steel for premium knives. It is very resistant to wear and tear. It is rust resistant. It is a very durable steel. And it is also very easy to sharpen. That's one of the big deals in knife blades. Some steels can be so hard that while they provide a very durable blade, they're extremely hard to sharpen. This, uh, this steel on the Benchmade Emissary, the S30V steel, offers a trade-off between sharpenability and durability. On the Microtech Ultratech, this is made out of M390 steel. It is a new super steel, one of the hardest steels in the world. It is very durable. It holds its edge for a very long time. It is hard to damage the blade. It is hard to lose the edge on the blade. It is hard to chip the blade. It is a very durable blade on this knife, and the steel is one of the strongest steels in the world. However, this comes at a trade-off. The blade is very hard to sharpen. This blade has to be sharpened with diamond and ceramic wheels in order to put an edge on it and to reshape it if that is needed to be done so. On the Benchmade Emissary, this S30V steel can be sharpened with regular knife sharpeners. Both knives come with a warranty. Uh, you have the Benchmade warranty. They will resharpen your knife for you and tune it up if you need it to be done so. And on the Microtech Ultratech, it has a warranty that no matter what happens to the knife, you can send it to them and they will fix this knife back up for you whatever needs to be done. Now, on the Benchmade Emissary, if you notice, it has some regular hex nuts holding the knife together, and you can take these apart. However, on the Microtech Ultratech, there are custom-built screws holding this knife together. I'm going to try to zoom in on them and show you guys better. The heads of the bolts in the Microtech Ultratech knife are in the shape of a uh, triangle shape, and you cannot just go out and buy a wrench that will be able to loosen these up. Instead, you have to send the knife to the Micro Microtech factory, and they will take the knife apart and fix it for you. It voids the warranty if you take the part, knife apart and attempt to do anything to it, and there are telltale signs inside of the knife that Microtech will be able to see and know you have done tampered with the knife and taken it apart. However, it is also almost impossible to do just because of the rarity of that screw head. It is interesting to note that the Microtech uh, logo is a eagle claw, and then the Benchmade logo is a butterfly, as you can see there. So we have two flying creatures uh, for logos here. That is actually pretty interesting. But that's going to be about it for my video on the Microtech Ultratech versus the Benchmade Emissary. My final thoughts is that this knife is the best letter opener you can ever get, hands down, 
Look at how cool that is. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.